So I am making a Gandalf style tobacco pipe out of a piece of maple burl I got. First thing to do is to lay out the design on the side, and while we're still in a nice flat block form, drill the essential holes for the start of the stem and the bowl. Once that was done, we could cut out the major pieces of it on the bandsaw, start knocking away everything that didn't need to be there, and you can see a shape start to take place just with these rough, gross cuts. The maple burl cuts really well, in fact, I was worried about running across all the different directions of grain and it being difficult, but it has been a beautiful piece of wood to work with. Once I'm done on the bandsaw, as you can see here, I decided to go ahead and move towards the belt sander. And this basically, I just wanted to knock off all the big corners here and we get start smoothing it out, making it look a little nicer and cleaner. The smaller belt sander really helped me get into some of those corners, especially right around the base of the pipe stem. A large portion of this project was done with just hand tools, and that's just because I don't have power tools uh, delicate enough to really allow me to shape this bowl without taking off too much material. So this is about as far as I wanted to get the bowl shaped before I fitted it to the stem. In doing the stem for this pipe project, I've come across a number of issues that have uh, slowed me down a little bit, but also have, I don't know, been a blessing of problem solving. The original plan was to use dowels, a cherry here, and maple. I chucked them up in the machine lathe, the metal lathe, and just bore straight through them. Regardless, the grain of the wood in both pieces uh, has caused it on numerous cuts to bend and shoot out the side, uh, like such. So, for the stem of this pipe, the original plan was then to, uh, to steam or, or water bend these to get it up to the, the nice gentle curve that I wanted. So, what I have ended up doing is I've made a segmented piece. Here's where we're at with the bowl, and it's got a, call it a mortise, it's just a counter, counter uh, sunk hole for the, the stem to go into, and I've got these tenons that I've machined on the lathe. And on the opposite side, I have countersunk to 3 8 These are tenons at 3 8 And then countersunk uh, at an angle. And that angle is perfectly perpendicular to the face, which I ground on the belt sander. So that's given us a... So this surface and that surface are perfectly perpendicular, and they're at a, just a, about 11 degree angle to the, um, the shaft, so that when they're placed together, I don't have to curve it. And uh, so at this point, it's been a, it looks like bamboo. At this point, it has been a, uh, a lot of fun trying to fit these and get them just so. I think this may be the level of perfection I need to accept. And then we'll go into the sanding phase, smooth it all out, make it look a lot less like bamboo. Um, but I think at this point, it's ready to be straightened out. We'll get some epoxy in there.
And now something you'll almost never see me do in my shop. Sit down. This is really the part of the project that uh, is probably going to take the longest. It, in the, the last little bits, just perfect it out. Just the nice little details, which is the fun part about this project because it's so comparatively organic. There's some critical dimensions, but with something like this, it's really just making sure that this tube interacts with this little area. Uh, all in all, it's probably still going to have a little bit of this segmented look, just the way it came together. Uh, as you can see on the tops and those first two knuckles, I'm calling them knuckles, uh, there was some sand through on the tenon, uh, but not, not in the actual airway. So I'm not really upset about it. This has worked far better than I even thought it would. And it's just a, it's a fun decorative thing. So at this point, yeah, file and sand and file and sand until it's perfect, and then we'll move on to the finishing phase. Okay, so we're at the special part of the project where it comes to finishing. As you can see, I've gotten the pipe shaped the way I like it, and then I went ahead and finished sanded it uh, up to 1,000 grit which is pretty awful high for wood, so it's got a very smooth, almost finished looking surface already. And I'd like to give it something that'll add a little bit more depth and also protect the wood. The two options I've considered, I've got this True Oil. This is uh, made for gun stocks. It says gun stock finish right, right on it. It's a combination of boiled linseed oil, I believe tongue oil, and a few other things. It goes on very easily and provides a nice deep finish quickly. I've got this that I use on cutting boards. This is essentially beeswax and mineral oil. I'm thinking about using it. I did a test piece here, one end, this end. I just rubbed on some of my paste and buffed it quickly with a rag. And I did the same on this end with the true oil. And even, gosh, even my camera's Viewfinder, I really can't detect a difference. They look about the same, and that's just one quick application on just a random piece of maple dowel. I think what I'm going to do, and I have to be careful because I have metal shavings in this, so ooh, gotta watch that. But uh, I'm going to take my beeswax paste uh, and buff it on. Probably do at least a few coats. Uh, this will hopefully create a nice deep protective finish that'll make really bring out the the gorgeous qualities of this burl here, and then hopefully add some depth to this this maple and uh, if I'm lucky maybe it'll make these these lines a little less prominent we'll see This was a lot of fun. I don't smoke, I don't use tobacco, but I just wanted to kind of make something I've never made before. If you like this, be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel.